Hello everybody, Darren here, and welcome back to episode 2 in my second Let's Play series for Anno 1800. This series is a continuation of my previous Let's Play, but this time it'll be predominantly focused on Anno 1800's DLC content. The first episode is already out on my bigger channel, Republic of Play, but all future episodes will be posted here on Republic of Let's Play. If you missed it, the link to the previous episode is in the playlist and also in the description and the comment section of this video. For a recap, in the last episode we began began to build up Enbessa, while we undertook an expedition to help Lady Jane Faithful find her missing husband Sir John. The expedition has taken us to the Arctic where we encountered the Inuit, who have shown us where we need to break the ice to pursue John's last known whereabouts. So, currently we just have one island, King William Island, and we are in the process of building it up. I've sent away the Extravaganza steamer to Cape Trelawney to go pick up a bunch of construction material. It's actually on its way back, and that should help us build even faster. Although we're already nearly at 75 wood, which is the max amount we can currently get. Our current quest is the Ice Brigade. Brigade. Thick ice has frozen the channel to the lost expedition. Lady Faithful has given you funds to equip a crack team of explorers so they can blast the way through. So, in order to sustain 80% of this particular good pemmican for supply here, we need to have 100 explorers. So the first thing I'm going to do is just go straight into a time lapse and actually do a proper design and layout of where this, of what this colony is going to look like. So I'll see you on the other side. Alright, so this time lapse is pretty strange because I've ended up cutting like 90% of it out. This took me about 30 or 40 minutes because I was constantly re-evaluating and trying to relearn how to build in the Arctic. You know, I'm fighting against myself in terms of can I build beautiful, can I kind of push things up against the edges of the cliffs and make these little side streets. Turns out, not really because the the... Heaters are so constrained in terms of both how much they require. You know, one charcoal kiln supplies one heater. You know, they're one-to-one, -one really. And charcoal kilns take up a lot of space, so you can't have, like, that many of them. And then heaters only heat about 20 tiles out in all directions, so it's not that big either. As well as that, you also need canteens everywhere, which is about 18 tiles or something like that. So you're just really, really constrained for space. You constantly have to dump heaters everywhere to keep everything warm. Not just the houses, but production buildings, the things like the, the canteen, the ranger station, and so on. So I was constantly constantly like reevaluating, like, how can I do this and deleting things and moving things around? And it's not ultimate efficiency. I think if you do ultimate efficiency, what you do is you start with the heaters first, evenly space them apart, and then fill in the houses. I've gone for a bit of both. Trying to put heaters where they make sense, but also I have a heater on the coastline, right? And that doesn't really make any sense, but I wanted to wrap around some buildings on the very edges of the front of the coastline. I, I'm pretty happy with how that looks. So it did just end up taking me a long time. I'm just constantly fighting against that struggle of efficiency and beauty, as I'm sure um, lots of people do. Alrighty, so I think I'll have to cut the time lapse or whatever the hell that is just right there because that was a huge amount of time I've just sunken into now figuring out how to kind of build in the Arctic. I was relearning a bunch of things. So some of the things that I've learned is that charcoal kilns don't actually require heat to function, but pretty much every other building does, including all the production buildings, houses, and things like that. And then it's just really constrained for how you can build. Like, it's really difficult not to build in a grid because of how the heating system works. The heating basically, you know, requires one coal that comes from one charcoal kiln. You know, they're kind of one-to-one. -one. So we have three of those, and we have three heaters in total. So that means then you also need heaters that are going to operate or surround your entire production stuff. We'll get to that in just a second. But essentially down here, it's about 20 tiles for each heater. So ideally you'd want to have it somewhere fairly central with 20 tiles kind of coming out from it in all directions. But of course you can't really do that diagonally. So if we want to tuck away some houses in on the corners here, we have to put heaters pretty close down to the coast. Although I'm sure you could maybe finagle your way a bit further up. But either way, this is what I've gone with and I'm pretty happy with it actually. Um, so we've got kind of a more central cluster of houses here in the center. Now as we progress and we go a bit further, I just got the ranger station and popped it down. As soon as I got the ranger station, we actually had an outbreak of illness, so I'm assuming that was just meant to happen so we could kind of see what was going on. So the ranger station is essentially your uh, prevention against fires and your prevention against people getting sick. So obviously if they're too cold, they get sick and then rangers come out and tend to them, just the way the hospitals work. So it's kind of like a combined hospital and fire station just in one building. Uh, it's got really good range. I'm actually not sure exactly the range, I'd have to look it up, but um, it seems really, really good. Right, it goes pretty far compared to everything else. It's also a, a kind of an irregular shape. It's 4x4 four four, as opposed to the houses being 3x3. Three three. So I think a little bit later down the line I might redo some of these places, obviously when we upgrade them to the next tier. 
and then we get some extra buildings. I could really start to figure out what's the best way to place everything in and try to avoid as many of these small gaps as possible. These gaps are totally avoidable if we used ranger stations and things like that to, to kind of plug the gaps, and also production buildings. So, speaking of production, we've set up our first thing, which is pemmican. Right, and we use uh, two whaling stations, two caribou hunting cabins, and then two pem pemmican cookhouses. So here's our whaling stations. They look awesome. You can actually see the boats carrying in the whales like that. I never actually noticed that before, the way they kind of like dredge them in almost. Uh, obviously feel super sad for the whales. It's not good, but it does look awesome, <laughs> if you know what I mean. Like graphically, it looks great. Um, and the attention to detail is just amazing. So. It looks really cool. So we bring in our whales there. Now that is actually based on fertility. So we have the whaling fertility here. So we're able to do that. We also have caribou fertility. So even the caribou stations, the hunting cabins, require heat, which makes things quite tricky because obviously these have a radius of where they can go hunt. You can kind of overlap them. They don't need the full circle. I think they use about half of it, it seems like. But then it's got to be relatively close by a heating station, which is about 20 tiles of range. So it's quite tricky to kind of get it all working. And then originally I had the charcoal kins, kilns doubling up on the hunting cabins, but I thought it wasn't the best idea because the hunting cabins need to be heated, whereas the charcoal kilns don't. So I feel like you should double up hunting cabins on each other and keep these just off somewhere separate where you don't have to worry about heat. At least that's my, my thinking on that. It seems correct. <laughs> But, um, you know, I'd have to look up how other people do it if I really wanted to try and be more efficient. But I'm, I'm pretty happy with how this is working for us right now. Anyway, so seeing as this is a kind of a production center, we have two uh, woodcutters and, um, well, sorry, these are the sawmills and these would be the lumberjack huts, obviously. So they need their own radius and they also need to be heated. So, again, just kind of crazy, like, having these radius things need to be near prox uh, be in proximity to buildings makes things quite challenging. Uh, these buildings are the ones I was thinking of actually putting within the town themselves to really make the town come alive, but it'll, it'll be a little while before I do that. The, the idea being, you've already got heaters in your town. If you just put down a warehouse, you could have a bunch of production buildings to try to make the place look a little nicer. I must be like one of the only people in the world that's trying to make the Arctic look nice. It's meant to be, you know, an outpost, really, just to, to find someone and to kind of um, research and things like that, rather than actually live here comfortably. There's no ornaments, you know, there's no playgrounds or fencing or anything like that, at least not by default. I'm sure there's mods that probably do it. Um, and then just to catch people up as well, for the heating, you can obviously see the piping that goes along the road. So if the piping runs out, that means there's no heating there anymore. And you only need to have one tile of heating touching a building to heat the building um, fully. So it's there's no problem there. Um, so that's kind of that's kind of the situation. I'm not really happy with this little section here. Feels like something could be done there, maybe uh, another house, perhaps. But. Um, Alas, for now, I guess it's fine. I mean, I could just slam it in there, could I? Ah, uh, not really, because then this wouldn't be able to get out and go that way for a while. Anyway, I'll think about it later, but for now, this is the Arctic. This is how it's looking. It looks quite beautiful. I'm actually kind of warming up to it, no pun intended. Um, but we do have our area almost largely explored now. I just had the ships going around the whole time, uh, searching and finding things. So, let's have a look at our quest and where we're at now. So we're at the Ice Brigade, still continuing. Sustained across the region, uh, oil lamps. Okay, so we've sustained pemmican. I can do it. <laughs> um, so let's see. So we're making two tons per minute. We're only consuming just about one, so we're totally fine there. The other consumer good would be sleeping bags at this level, because we haven't actually got enough population to unlock oil lamps. So I guess I will have to build even further. So I'm not going to time lapse it anymore because I spent so much time doing that previous one. But what we're going to need obviously is another charcoal kiln. So we'll try to get it. Whoops. I don't know why that happens sometimes lately. With this latest update I'm getting some weird issues. Anyway, what happened was my like key locked down basically for a second. Anyway, so we can see around here we have a hundred. So we get that built. So that's our fourth one. Uh, charcoal kiln that is so then now we can put more houses down if we decide where we're gonna put our next heater because the heat sort of runs out Around this area, you know, and we also also have to keep in mind where we're putting our uh, Canteen so I'm just gonna check something really quickly in the population tab. We're gonna select Explorers and we should see that they all have the same amount. So one house only has six in it. So why is that? Oh, they're a little bit far from the canteen. Are you kill kidding me? They're a little bit far from the canteen. There's really nothing I can do about that. 
Not really. Can't bring the houses down any further. The only thing I can think of is maybe cutting the road here. How does that hand how does the heat work with that? Seems to be okay. And pulling this down one. And doing that should give them that little bit extra, but not enough it seems. They're at 95%. Gosh darn it. Yeah, don't know about that then. I guess that house is just always going to have to be a little bit a little bit off. So how much does it go down to here? 90. So it's 5% for every tile close you are. Damn. Uh, I've got another idea, actually. Maybe this would work. hey -o. All right, we did it. Figured it out. Let's just put this back for now. It's... Yeah, that's good enough. It's all good. Alright, so. Uh, what's next? So the oil lamp's at 500. Sleeping bags. Do we want to do that now? We're missing the fertility on this particular island for seal hunting. We'll have to check that. I believe, by the way, I think anyway, by the quest, until we get the quest done to br break open the ice, no one's going to settle any other island. So we can kind of choose which ones we want to go up to and settle them before we really progress. Um, maybe we want to do that soon. I love this place at night, by the way. The stars just look amazing. I hope people don't mind. It's also kind of brighter during the night than the other sessions, so hopefully you can still see everything okay, which I think is good. Um, so, let's see. Well, we know that we're going to need... Let's have a look at what we're going to need immediately. So we know that we're going to need seal. Uh, seals. So there's no seals here. In fact, this has just everything we have already. So does this one. That's gas. Gas. There's seals here. It's a very small island, though. There's seal skin here. Really? There's only two islands with seal skin on it, and they're tiny. That seems crazy. Or three. Yeah, they're all really, really small. Hmm. Well, that's a bit of a challenge, isn't it? Uh, where's even the coast of this island? I can't even see it. Oh, there. A check copy? So there's this one... There's this one. Juicy islands are being acquired. Rapturous return and alliance of civilized nations. We allied Benti in between sessions, by the way. Or in between, um... Time lapses. No one else is here yet. Right, so I gotta decide, basically, which one we're gonna go for, for seal skin. Uh, I mean, no reason not to go with at least two. These two are the closest, so I guess I'll do that. So yeah, let's send our ship up here, then. So that just for uh, clarity's sake, that's this island here and this one here. So both have seal abundance and bear abundance. This doesn't have anything I'd, I'd want extra, so I think that's fine. Fur abundance and stuff like that. The amount of gold deposits would be interesting for some of those bigger islands. There's one deposit, one, two, and two on our island. So maybe the other one we'd go for then is this. It's got two gold deposits, and uh, we maybe leave it at that so Arthur can take one of the other ones, or Benty can take one of the other ones. Sounds good to me. Oh, and by the way, old Nate is here, obviously, but we can't interact with him yet. I always dreamed of a little shack. He wants us to build an airship. Okay, anyways, let's try speed up just a little bit then. So we've got our fourth um, charcoal kiln. So let's decide where our fourth heater is going to go within the town, because we need to raise our population, of course. Now, the yeah, we're pretty close, actually. We don't need... How much is it per household? Seven at the moment. Okay. So somewhere, I would imagine, around here could probably get really good reach. So we'll just put it there temporarily and start laying out some houses. Um, putting these in the line would be nice. Although, I guess I don't have to, actually, thinking about it. Yeah, something like this is cool. So we can tuck these in this way, leave a little bit of a gap for the uh, heater to actually kind of make its way out that way. And then just queue all these up here as well. Something like that. Miserable. 
My people are miserable. Oh, I think it's just because the second I cut it away from here, it just immediately uh, thought there was a problem. I'm guessing also this some people are cold, of course. We'll fix that. Alright, let's get this built. Now, I don't know if this needs to... Is this going to be able to reach a warehouse? Like, where is this going to go? You know, to get the... Oh, look, it's a little sled. Yeah, that's going to go all the way... Wow, that's a huge distance. Well, it's good to see that it seems like it doesn't matter. They'll just go as far as they need to go to get it. And then bring it there. It seems that way, anyway. I'm sure there must be some limit, though. Alright, anyways, uh, I digress. Let's uh, get these built. And we could probably fit in two more there if we just shift that over. And then they're going to need their own canteen. And to be honest, a ranger station again might be not not a bad idea. Uh, maybe a canteen in here. Nah, somewhere, somewhere there a bit more central across from the heaters are where I like to have it. Makes the most sense because their numbers are so similar in terms of range. We can make sense having them together. Now, I wonder, does this go... Yes, it does. Nice. Alright, cool. There we go. Uh, that should be enough now, I think, as well. Let's finish those ones off. Alright, let's see if we can uh, colonize this other island. Yes, we can. So, it's only three influence. This is one of the small ones, obviously. And we're going to go grab that other one, and then another big island, and then that'll be it. Uh, we never actually had to look at what the Inuit sell, so let's check it out. Trade with you. So, you can get some seal skin straight from them if you want, some pemmican. They only have 50, so not like 150 like the other places. And then there's... Oh my god. Oh yeah, let's go get these things immediately. I hope they don't go away now. Well, part of, that's part of the Thule relics. Now, we actually have one of these. I'm just going to check which one. It's hard to... I don't know how I'm going to spell these. I'll just see if I can recognize it. Uh, cultural items in storage equipped. Let's see if I can just spot it really quickly. We definitely... There it is. Okay. I think I remember it. <laughs> it's this one. Yeah, so we could get that one. It's part of the same set. It'd be nice to start completing some sets and stuff, you know? Because seeing as we're in the end game now. God, the music is so good. Alright, we're just coming up to them now. Hopefully it doesn't re-roll. We've actually got a quest here, so let's check it out. I've learned my fair share of tricks back when I traversed the Pampas. Fishermen lined the soles of their boots with felt to stop them slipping. We could use anything that would help us stay in place. Oh, that's very good to know. He wants me to bring, they want me to bring 30 felt in 20 minutes. Okay, we can get that from the New World. When the ice breaks, I want you there with me. Let's just get some of these artifacts in the Arctic. That'd be kind of cool to bring up the old uh, diving bell here as well, wouldn't it? I think that'd be fun. Uh, Thule relics, let's get that. Anything that's part of Thule relics. I mean, these are Arctic tundra animals as well. I feel like we should just get them all, but we can only get two. Sweet. Oh, wait, I'm being silly. I can just activate the um, the treasure hunts and just pick up that other item, can't I? Let's do that. So, Arctic Tundra, Arctic Tundra, Arctic Tundra. Let's see if we can just get any more from the Arctic Tundra. No, this is a Thule Relic as well, though. So, let's get that. All right, cool. That's pretty good. There's only typically like five or six in it in any given thing. Oh, there was no um, road here. Spreads across your city. Damn, that sucks. I didn't leave a gap. There's an epidemic as well. There we go. Where's the sickness? There it is. They should be fine. Arctic flu? Where's our ranger station? Can you get up there? Yeah, no problem. No problem. We'll build another one, though, anyway. Let's just get one right up here next to our canteen. I like having them in a kind of collection like that. It makes sense, anyway. And the maintenance cost really is neither here nor there. Uh, let's go, as well, and colonize that other island. And then the only other one I want is the one that had two gold deposits, which was out here. 
All right. Let's just pick up all the construction material for now. Hopefully nine is enough. I didn't actually check, but I think it'll be. It's not like there's a, a hurry anyway. There's no other. There's no one else here. Um, right. So let's go to the new world and just get some ship to pick up some felt and send it over. Got um our Drake ship. It's the fastest ship in the game, pretty much, if it's going with the wind. Uh, so we need felt. It's an intermediate. And I can't remember how much we needed. I hate that music. We needed 30. Alright, let's just get that 30. Off you go. Um, since the last series as well, I've actually moved my game to an SSD. It's loading way faster. Obviously, you don't really see the loading at the beginning of the game uh, when I'm booting it up, but it is so much faster now. I also feel like I'm not seeing as much pop-in, which would kind of make sense. Like, I do see it sometimes, but um, I feel like I'm not seeing as much. So I'm assuming that might be because it's reading textures from your hard drive and it's doing it a bit faster as well. But it could also... It might it might already be in loaded into RAM and it's just drawing it... Um, as per the graphics card, I don't know. All right, off you go. The uh, whales there is a good omen. At least the rangers are on the way now, so they should be fine. Okay, so sleeping bags need to be done on a different island. We're at 493 explorers right now, so we're almost there. Some of these aren't upgraded yet. That should be it though, I think. Let's check our consumer goods. We're totally fine for pemmican. And once we get to 500, then we can have a look at what we need. So the next thing is, yeah, eight, maintain that for 80%. Oh, our diving bell. How could I forget? Sorry. Whoops. Let's just bring our diving bell to this session as well. The epidemic left buildings abandoned. Oh, we're at old Nate's. All right, we'll have to go here, drop off scrap, and then come up. The epidemic left buildings abandoned. Oh, I never gave it a road access. That might be what happened to it. New orders. Um, I guess I could send this to Cape Trelawney and just drop it all off there. I mean, we don't really need it here, so let's do that as well. God, I just love the atmosphere of the Arctic. I just think it's so cool. I don't know why I can't get over it. I just like, oh, everything looks cooler in the Arctic. All right, anyway, so we have 255-ish uh, explorers. We should have hit our target to unlock oil lamps. We have. We also have the ability to get schnapps. Now, you may remember we have schnapps out of our asses in um, the old world in swords in St. James's Gate. So we can definitely bring some up here and not really suffer any consequences, I think. Uh, and that'll be a happiness requirement, would it? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Or a heat requirement, I should say. Okay, so, um... Yeah, maybe we should get that trade route going right now. I mean, I've got ships in the old world doing nothing. So I don't see why not. Right, and that should be us fully colonized in the Arctic. Uh, at least for now. I don't plan on taking any more islands, except for maybe the gas ones, uh, later. Uh, right, so in that regard, let's head back to the old world. Let's go to swords. We can check our kind of production chains here for schnapps. They're all maxed out, actually, so that's good. Uh, we're making 34. We're consuming nothing. It must be a festival. Yes, there is. It's kind of annoying, actually, because it makes it difficult to know how much we can give away. There's a destruction quest. I'm going to have to say no. I'll... Oh, it's just for money. Yeah, it's no item. I'll say no, then. Uh, okay, anyway, so yeah, let's set up our first trade route that's going to take stuff to the Arctic. So we're going to... Oh, I thought there was, like, no trade routes for a second. I panicked. Uh, old World to Arctic. Um, schnapps, I guess. Just for now, we'll call it Schnapps, and maybe in future we'll, it might deliver mo more than that. Uh, let's choose the Curiosity. Click here. We'll have to set a minimum threat. Oh, there already is a minimum set here, anyway. Uh, maybe we'll just take 100 for now. And uh, hopefully that lasts quite a long time. In fact, I could do the math and see how long it would last. And maybe it'll take back gold in future, yeah. 
Nice to have a conjoined root like that. Uh, in my old playthroughs, I used to always send up their coal, but I don't think you really need to do that. A lot of people have told me, like, well, you could just use lots of charcoal kilns and you should be fine, so... Maybe that's what we'll do. It's just they do take up a lot of space, even when you kind of overlap them. Um, so, schnapps. I can determine how much we'll use. So, it's only one ton per minute. I've sent 100, so that's obviously 100 minutes worth of schnapps that'll be delivered up there. The question is... Also, how long does it take to get there, you know, on this new trade route? How long is that going to actually take? You have to take that away from your your uh, time estimate, I guess. And then also, how much, like, is it taking 100 every 100 minutes too much to take away from the old place? You have to check the consumption rate there as well. But we're having a festival, so we can't really do that. Uh, right, let's just go back to Cape Trelawney. Let's get our diving bell to drop that off. And our diving bell can go to the Arctic now as well. This ship should be following it, the little sister following the big daddy. And yes, I know it's the other way around, but whatever. This has the um, diving bell, so deal with it. All right, so hopefully we'll just stay here now. I don't think there's any more swapping we need to do for a while. The pirate ship is coming with the 30 felts for the quests. We have our diving bell on the way to help us dive, figure stuff out, and now it's just a matter of building the oil production chain. So we need a whaling station combined with brass. Oh. Okay, well maybe we'll add that to the uh, schnapps route. Schnapps and brass together. Best way to do this is just to open this up. Old world to Arctic. There it is. And click the ship. Now, I'm going to delete that route just for a second. Take it off the route. Because we're going to reset it. I want you to take brass. But brass is going to be coming from down here, I think. So we'll have to see how much we've got. It's an intermediate. Brass, it is full, that's a good sign. But we'll have to set a reserve, just in case. Alright, off you go. So, it's going to pick up the brass there. Let's have a look down here at what the situation is with um, brass. So, we're overproducing a little bit. We're making 8 tons per minute, but we're consuming 7 at the, uh, currently, so that's good. So, it means we can afford to take some. And as long as we set a minimum threshold, we won't take them all and then we'll never run out. It won't be an issue. Uh, we'll have to check as well the consumption rate here in the Arctic. Like how, you know, how fast is brass consumed? So if we check our whaling thing. So it's one every minute. So again, we have 100 minutes of brass coming up here, right? If we deliver 100. So it sh I think it'll be totally fine. Um, and then the oil lamp factory. So, we'll have to build another one of these whaling stations. I'll just line that up that way, I guess. Even though it does look weird. I hope Docklands or something adds, adds a way to make this place look nicer. I reviewed this a long time ago. One of my complaints is just like, I don't know why you wouldn't add some kind of ornaments to the Arctic. Like, I get, I get like, it's an explorer outpost or whatever and technicians, but... Still, I feel like after time people would like pave the roads or something or have little flags or something, you know? I just feel like people, humans decorate things no matter what, especially if you're there for like a long time. Um, so just a few small ones would have been nice. They stepped their game up when it came to the other DLCs for orna ornaments though, but they still kind of, I still feel like this has been left a bit barren. Uh, now what was that? Arctic Flip, da, da, da. Ah, our Drake is here. Check out the speed. We're just cutting through the icy cold water. Feels good, man. See that stuttering? I just don't know what that is. That's the latest game update. Never had that with my um, previous campaign, like the previous update. Hope they um, fix it. It's obviously quite a small thing, but there must be some sort of... For some reason, it does a hitch whenever... I don't know if it's because there's a war going on and maybe islands are transferring. That sometimes happens, but it's not telling me, like, you know, islands have been taken. Anyways, let's go back to daytime. Alright, so with that extra whaling station, we can just get one more oil lamp factory. These require heat, so we could have it somewhere here in the town itself, next to the heater, next to a warehouse as well, potentially. Or we could try to stack it out here where our other stuff is. The fear would be that we're starting to erode maybe 
uh, the surrounding landscape there, although it seems okay. Well, my frame rate is going really bad. 70? Yeah, I think we're okay. And this isn't being encroached upon. No, not really. Still 100%. Alright, good. Well, there we go. It's a lot of um, stuff on this, though. Oh, we can upgrade it now, finally. Nice. Yeah, we kind of need another one of those, to be honest. Maybe down here. Warehouse doesn't need heat. You should really have them on the extremities of your production rather than the next to the heater, probably. It is fun building in the Arctic, fi fi you know, figuring all that stuff out, actually, thinking about it. Alright, well, we've got our two big warehouses there. And uh, this is just now waiting on brass to arrive. So if we check that um, trade route, we can see where the curiosity is now. So it's just picked up its brass. Schnapps and brass. And it's going to the Arctic. Yeah, I really don't know what we'd name this ship. Just leave it called curiosity for now, I guess. Let's just check as well. Have we arrived back here? It is a long journey to go from the Arctic to Cape Trelawney, especially. We're about to get in there with all our little bits. We've got our big daddy and little sister on the way up. Yeah, it's going to be a while before that stuff arrives. So what else can we do? Quest-wise. We've got our diving bells. I guess I could pre-locate these really quickly. Map of an abandoned Inuit village. Time to rummage in the old sea chest. Uh, okay. Let's just look at that again. So, little outcropping on the bottom right. Kind of looks like this one, actually. Your ship has returned from its voyage. Could that be it? Yeah, possibly. Let's just have a look at it again. Yeah, that looks like it. It's got that little bit of ice there as well. So, just at, right at the bottom of this thing. Yeah, it looks like it's right there. You can see the extra foam. And then the other one is going to be on the top of what looks like this island here. Yeah, we can see it. Alright, easily found then. We can get them both really quickly. So sustain 80% for oil lamps. Yeah, I wish I knew. I should have checked what the chain was beforehand, but I, I didn't know, to be honest. Alright, so we were given a sailor. Oh, that's terrible. <laughs> oh, thanks. Oh, I could pop them on the ship, why not? So, movement speed 5%, navigation 5 and 10 for um, force and navigation. Let's get back to the uh, new world where you belong. New orders. Uh, we could do a fun little bit of ex exploration up here. Oh no, this is all... Yeah, I think that's the exploration aspect done. Pretty much. Uh, yeah, we could come up here though. Oh, there's another quest here, actually. Yeah, let's check it out. We need more blubber for the Kudliks. Their fire will lift the darkness. Well, we already have this thing. We'll just do it anyway. Deliver 11 tons of whale oil. I'll just go back and pick some stuff up. And we can also trade from here. 11 tons of whale oil. I could just buy them and deliver them, like, instantly. <laughs> if I just do that, that'll make it easier. That doesn't make any sense. That's kind of funny, though. You want to settle on Mealmouth 2. Go for it. Hey, we passed, uh, we crossed 20 million. That's pretty good. There you go. Thank you. Hopefully we'll get another quest soon. Alright, let's just check the world map and see where we're at. Uh, the diving is about to come in, that's good. And the trade route is just embarking now with the schnapps and brass. So, I don't mind speeding it up a little bit while we're just doing, you know, these little diving quests and waiting on that to arrive. We're basically just waiting for that shipment to arrive of the brass. And that should allow us to get our oil lamps, and that should allow us to progress the uh, main quest line. Uh, let's just see, is there any other things we could buy here? 
Man, these sell we keep getting that a lot. The collection of Lost Expedition Relics. We've already got that one as well, actually, I think. Um, I'm just going to double check on that. Yeah. All right, cool. It's really easy to spot. When the ice breaks. Uh, what else you got? More uh, treasure maps. We'll do that. And I've forgotten which one I didn't get. Oh, no, I did get them all, didn't I? Yeah. All right, cool. Let's extend the old telescope. All right, cool. Hopefully we get some cool items. From its uh, you know what? We don't need this. So I'm just going to sell it back and make the money. Not for yourself, but for the I will leave him there just in case we need to do something else. In fact, can I buy oil lamps? No. I was going to cheat a little bit if I could. All right, we'll get our diving bell over there. And yeah, I think that's pretty much it. Now I'm just trying to think as well before I speed things up, should I just go to another island and start building on it? I mean, I don't see why not, right? We could at the, at the very least just pack up some construction material and deliver it, even if it's just wood. Yeah, uh, let's go out to the second biggest island. Although the next thing we're going to... It would be nice to get the seal skin up and running, right? To keep our guys really happy. Yeah, so let's do that. So we'll head over here. We'll start setting up. We've already got 75 and 75 here. Oh, wow. Um, yeah, let's give it an upgrade. Why not? Boom. Now, there's no commuter, uh, commuter peers here. So for seal skin, what we'll need to do is just go seal hunting docks. And then goose feathers. So seal hunting docks. It's only 20. Uh, 20 people. I'm just going to tuck that in as far down the side as it goes. There we go. So that would be 40 population. So let's just build some basic houses. We'll need to get at least one charcoal kiln up and running, right? So pop that up the back. Somewhere like... There. Let's just build it so we can see if we're going to overlap it that much. Keep it to 100% efficiency. Oh, there's gold right there, actually. I didn't even notice. Alright, so my game actually froze and crashed. Um, I'm not sure how much of that is going to be salvageable in the footage. Hopefully the footage is okay. Um, but generally speaking, it's auto-saving every five minutes, so it should be fine. I have noticed that this update does seem to be a little bit less stable, which is weird because it doesn't really seem to have affected that much in terms of gameplay. Uh, but for, nevertheless, they seem to have um, done something where my game is starting to hitch a little bit more. Uh, but either way, hopefully it's not a sign of things to come. Uh, let's just continue where we were at. So we're building the charcoal kiln here, getting some heat up and running so we could get seal skin off of this island uh, and bring it to, uh, what's it called? Saint King William Island. I was going to call it St. William. Uh, right, so we've got our uh, charcoal kiln set up. We need to build some houses now. So we're just going to block a four there. And block of three. And hopefully just with a heater down here. Competitors are now at war. I guess ideally you should... Oh. Anne Harlow and Arthur Gasparov are now at war. Oh, wow. Has ended. I'm allied with uh, Anne Harlow. Hopefully I don't get dragged into a war. I'm thinking something like this. Yep. Damn, man. The heating is so constrained. It's ridiculous. <laughs> is that a bit better? Something like that. Alright, I don't think we'll even really need that much workforce. We'll see. Now, we don't have any construction material here, so that should build up now to... I, should never have enrolled. I don't know, about five people, I think? Oh, they need a canteen. How silly of me. There we go. So hopefully that will figure things out. Um, do we have the coal coming in now? We do. So charcoal kiln is working. We have the heater. 
uh, little pockets of houses here. And then once we get some, yeah, we're getting the workforce in now, we can start getting the hunting docks up and running. So we'll just build one for now. That's going to be combined with goose farm, goose feathers. And then we'll make a sleep, we'll make sleeping bags, right. So that's 50 workers, 20 and 35. So 105 in total to get that production chain up and running. Uh, now this says it doesn't have heat. It definitely does. Or is this not on yet? Oh, it's just not on yet. Okay, cool. So I could see the pipes, so I was just a bit confused. So I'm just trying to think, should I build the goose feathers here and send both of them off this island or just seal? I mean, there's not much room here, but at the same time, I feel like this doesn't take up that much space. Does it require heat? It does. You could have it just like right there. I say yes. <laughs> so let's see. Anything that allows me to save space like that. Oh, right, right, right. Sorry. I thought it was a radius thing. Oh, so it is just... Oh, okay. Man, I'm really unfamiliar with the Arctic, eh? I didn't know that was a thing, having geese sure in really cold climates. I didn't know that was a thing. Uh, but cool, so they've got their heat. They're making the goose feathers. And when we combine that with the seal skin, we should be good to go. Now, we need a ship up a here that actually is going to specialize in just delivering things around this area. So I'm going to take this ship Eli's messenger. It's waiting outside of Eli Bleak where it's... Oh my god, what's this? Room to maneuver. Hmm. I'll take it. Weird, yeah. It must have been some fighting out here. Um, yeah, so let's just send this ship off to the Arctic. That's going to be my go-to ship for uh, basically carrying goods in it, our inter-island trade network that we're going to have in the Arctic alone. So we'll see how that go how that does. So insufficient workforce, not too bad there, right? I mean, mm-hmm. I'm sure you are. We could get a couple extra houses anywhere we have heat. We might as well put down houses, right? So there, there. Oops. Yeah. So just get full coverage on every house we can we can basically pop down right now. Is there construction material here? No. Alright, let's just deliver that up here. Oh, I forgot to do our dive. Alright, let's see what we get. Uh, nice. Alright, so we got a damaged statue and some nice scrap. So the middle kind of currency. Uh, now we know that there was one up here somewhere. There it is. Uh, I'll have to find that other island that we picked up. This one. Um, it looks kind of like maybe this one here. Your ship has returned from. Question is, is it a glacier or not? Kind of looks like it. No, it's not it. Okay. There it is. Found ya. Uh, okay, well, we'll have to wait to come back to that. I'll actually just hotkey it. And we can come back to it later. Alright, cool. Uh, so our first shipment should have been done. So we should have oil lamps now, right? Has that happened yet? Where's the oil factory? Yeah, yeah, yeah you're making it, making your first batch. Actually, I think it is the first batch. Oh, I just realized. We don't even have storage of 100. So we couldn't even drop off everything yet. So... Where do I do that? Is there no way for me to increase it? I don't have a dock thing yet. I don't think we have enough population yet. Uh, what, I, what I could do at the very least is just increase this. So now we can store up to 150. Okay, cool. So when we're dropping 100 schnapps and 100 brass, they should be able to unload no problem. 
Uh, nice, so that's gonna start, we're at 67% sustainability or whatever, um, right now. So I'm sure we'll get that in no time. Cool. New orders. Oh yeah, I guess we should go to this one first then. Seeing as we're right next to it. Actually, I say that. This one has uh, better time. This is 50 minutes, the only has 34. Not that we're going to run out, but you never know. I might look away and forget, as I often do. Oh, Alright, cool. Fort Worry. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, maybe until our ship gets here, we'll just do the first little bit manually and bring seal skin and goose feathers back, and then we'll kind of combine it in a building and have our... Uh, sleeping bags, and they should be really, really toasty and warm. It should be great. And I guess ideally, you know, you could even supply this place with caribou if we've got an overabundance back in the other place. It looks like they, they have the abundance here for it, so they could probably make their own pemmican. Because they have whaling and caribou. But there's not much coastline, so I guess really you don't want to be doing that. You want to get as much seal skin as you can. Uh, ideally. Alright, our ship is here. The terror. Alright, let's get those extra houses done. I just realized as well, these modules probably don't have to be heated themselves. It's probably just the main building, so we could definitely have two here. Might just move that for a second. Yeah, build one like there, and build another one like there. Oh, I built this too close to the uh, coast. Okay. Alright, so that's two goose feathers, and then we can have a second one of these. Now, that's negative 41. Now, they should be able to build up to... Is it just four per household? Yeah, that's pretty rough. But there isn't really much more room in terms of the heaters. Oh, no, there is. Okay, cool. Let's see how far we can go with that. Nice, so we can get two houses there. There and there. Should be the same the other direction, right? Yep. Four, eight, twelve, sixteen, twenty, twenty-four, twenty-eight. A competitor's island is under siege. Thirty-two, thirty-six, and that should be enough population. Uh, they're probably really far away from this, though. Actually, thinking about it, but we could just put down another canteen, I don't really mind. We're short one wood, unfortunately. Either way, though, um, let's just pick up any seal skin we can right now. And goose feathers. He's only two? Oh my god. <laughs> just take two of each, then. Make our first couple sleeping bags. In fairness, it is ton of sleeping bags, so... We're literally moving two tons of feathers. Right, and then sleeping bags requires heat. Uh, we could pop this just up here, temporarily, and see how it looks. And make our first delivery. Because we obviously have the workforce here, that's no problem. How's it going for the quest, by the way? Oh, right, I didn't even see it pop. Okay, let's just get to the diving bell next. Let's do a dive. And then let's have a read of our quest. Right, so same thing. So now it says, pick up at the medium trading post an ice breaching brigade. The crew come around to you. Right, diving bell is returned. Good. Check it in a sec. People are starting to get sick. Oh, is it in the other place? Probably is. Your ship has returned from its voyage. I'm oh, getting so many notifications that this isn't even popping off yet. Should we click it again? Oh, it says pick it up at the trading post. Maybe there's something that we actually have to go get. Uh, well, Eli's messenger is here now, so let's set up a route, right? So the route is just going to be very basic right now. This one to this one. 
the Arctic. Eli's messenger. Uh, ice is ready. So, uh, yeah, just one sec though. <laughs> it's just something like that, right? Just very, very simple. And then we'll just go Arctic seal stuff. Damn, is she gone now? God damn it. The timing. Uh, what did we get? Huge alcohol crate and some other bits of scrap. They are ready. Delivered to the ice blockade, the ice breaching brigade. Uh, so, we'll have to just come back here real quick, drop this stuff off, and then we can go back out. And Actually, no, we don't have to drop it off. We can drop it in the ship that I have following me right now. Put that in there. There you go. There you go. And then hotkeyed to here. Boom. Great. All right. So your icebreaker's ready. We've picked it up here. Uh, the ice breaching brigade. Brigade. We'll drop that off, and we're gonna head out to the impasse. All right. Maybe when we get through there, that might be it for this episode. It's really hard for me to gauge how long this one's gone on for, because how long I took it initially. But I'm hoping that we'll have fully satisfied all the demands of the explorers, and it looks like we're going to. So we have the oil lamps. If we look at the consumer goods of the oil lamps, we are totally fine. Uh, we're not even consuming one ton yet. Uh, sleeping bags are consuming just about one ton. But that's okay, because the stuff should be brought back and forth, no problem anyway. From this island, although I did think it said that they're sick and cold, but we have to, I have to wait to bring up um, uh, some more wood to get the ranger station built. There's really not, not much I can do about it until we get that brought here. So unfortunately, they're just going to have to like, suffer through the Arctic flu for a while. Flu intensity, 28%. At least everything else has been stable. I'm just going to check really quickly statistics, population on all, all islands. I'm just curious to see residents over time and how it's... Going, yeah, it's stable. Look at that. Investors not moving. I don't want to see anything moving except for explorers, and that seems to be the case, so pretty happy about that. Everything is very stable. Alright, we're getting close to that final dive position. Now, the dives are already set, aren't they, when they're a map, so you can't, like, change what you're going to get based on the item that you're using. I think it's just like, oh, you're diving for machines, you're diving for artifacts, whatever, you're going to get that. Hey, we've picked up a decent amount now. That's good. I'm just waiting on the flagship to get here to actually pick up the wood as well. Now, I'll probably zoom in and follow the journey as our ship gets a little bit closer to the ice breaking. Let's just take... much of this as we can. Let's just deliver it up here. And let's follow our quest ship. Before we get there, let's set the scene. I don't want that music going on while I'm here. You can have a look back at Mbessa for a second. Everyone in Mbessa is fine? Oh, there's um an issue with the warehouse. Oh yeah, I don't know how I let that happen. Weird. Odd. Okay. Damn, yeah, I don't know what that little freezing is. Alright, cool. Well, at least we're all connected again here. I'm surprised that uh, <laughs> they didn't die or anything. As we saw, the population was stable, so... Alright, back to the Arctic. Oh, yeah, reporting in. Complete change of scenery. <laughs> Ceasefire has ended. I don't think it's my ceasefire. Brigade, ready the charges. All right, we ready to go. This is one of the coolest cutscenes in the game, in my opinion. <laughs>
Awesome. Digging out the little holes, sticking in dynamite. Breaking the ice. Alright, cool. We have created the passage. The expedition must have been really stubborn to venture up there. Hmm. God, look how good it looks. Does no one else Why see this? <laughs> How far did they really expect to take those boats? Room to maneuver. Find the HMS Hades and Sticks. Now just before I go through, actually, let's just um, drop off that construction material that's just about here now. Sort out the illness that's on this island. All right, with that, uh, we can now at least put down a ran ranger station. Rangers lead the way. There we go. It's still heated. Uh, yeah, so hopefully that'll sort out the flu, and then we'll come back and just uh, rebuild any of that um, that's still down. And then we'll just do the last dive. All right, cool. Map of an Inuit dispute. And we found a fine steel hull. Eh, not that good. I mean, it's nice to get nice scrap, but I already have like two or three hundred of it now, I think, in total. So nothing too crazy. But uh, we have picked up a signal of a different one. Somewhere off this way. So maybe we'll just hop around here and see if we can find it in our spare time. All right, back to the um, icebreaker, the terror. On our way. I'm going the. I'm literally going the wrong way. <laughs> Whoops. Pretend you didn't see it. All right, off we go. Bring her around. <gasps> Gasp. Room to maneuver. They looked like little flagships. So sad. What does it take for a captain to abandon his ship? To cross the ice by foot? No ship, yeah, even we can an see the trail. breaker, can carry us from here. Nor will we cover enough ground on foot. You need a blooming airship, you do. Hey, hey, what do you mean, borrow mine? Get out of it. <laughs> Why not build your own airships? You want to employ a lot of fuss put suit strokes to watch out. I have no idea how expensive that will be, but he, here. Here. I hope that's a start. It's so sad. She's after spending like three two hundred and fifty thousand, I think, just to to find her husband. The epidemic left. Buildings abandoned. That's fine. Alright, so now we need to uh, get technicians and take to the skies. If you want to find the lost crew of the HMS Hades and Sticks, you're going to need airships. For that, you'll need technicians and an airship hangar. God, this looks so flipping good. Uh, Alright, let's send our ship out of there. So, by now, we should have our sleeping bags. 100%, we are super comfortable in terms of heat, and we are ready to begin the first upgrades. So let's just start with a couple of houses right here. A new, milestone. new horizons. So a little bit more, um, what's the word, in place? Settled? Yeah, that's the word. A little bit more settled. Yes, I'm a Zeppelin technician. And there we go, airship hangar foundations. The airship hangar is built in phases. Once complete, it can produce trade airships if you have supply of gas. So it's a big monument that we're going to have to start building. I'm probably going to build it all the way up here, sort of like a, a place they can take off, you know, on the edge of the cliff. Um, so yeah, that's probably where I'll pop it. 
uh, we need some steel that we don't have, so I'll have to, in between episodes, maybe go fetch some from uh, a different session. But uh, I think we're going to leave it there for this episode. So, pretty good, right? We've gotten fully set up now on this island. We've broken the ice. We've settled multiple islands. We've fully set, uh, met the demands of our explorers here, and we've now unlocked technicians. We have the ability now to increase our storage, set up a pier for multiple things to be delivered, and set up defenses. Uh, we're also going to get the Arctic Lodge, which is basically like a town hall. And then we get the post office, which is just like another another building that they need uh, in proximity. So all pretty good. Pretty good. All right. Thank you guys again very much for watching. I am eagerly awaiting the uh, comments and reception to the first episode and this episode as well. This one was a bit weird because of the ridiculous amount of time it took me to learn what I was doing. Uh, but other than that, I am still very, very much looking forward to getting further into the Arctic, getting onto some gas, and then going back to Enmesa as well in the future. Palace Docklands is around the corner now. It's exciting stuff. Uh, let me know what you think as well of the Season 3 announcement. I actually didn't talk about it at all. I guess I'll maybe talk about it in the next one. I'm sorry for the delay on that. People have been asking me in the comments. Um, but yeah, I'll leave it till the next episode. All right, thank you guys very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Hey guys, thank you very much for watching, and remember, if you want to support this series directly, you can click the Join button to become a channel member. Doing so will get your name in the credits, as well as loyalty badges and emotes to use in the comments. If you don't see the Join button, it means the video has been copyright claimed, but you can still join from the channel page on desktop. You can also link your account to our Discord to get a special role on there that will give you access to the Senate House and a few other perks.